at this point, we're, we're probably the biggest uh, dating site in the, in the country. We're about as big as Match and eHarmony combined, I think, in terms of people actually going out and finding relationships using us. We don't make as much money because we're free. Um, but I, 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 we, we started the site, me and, me and my three co-founders. We were all math majors. And from the beginning, this is 2003, we knew we wanted to use uh, data. Uh, and we, we, didn't, we didn't think of it as data with a capital D or big data. Th those kind of buzzwords hadn't come into use. It, uh, data science wasn't self self aware, I guess then. Um, but we we wanted to use data to um, recommend people to one another, and that's what a dating site is. It's it's just a, a, a it's basically a recommendation engine for strangers. In the same way that you go to Facebook and you see you know these are friends, people you might know. Uh, okay, keep it as people that you don't know that you might like, or or the way Netflix recommends a movie to you. Um, they're like, hey, here's what we think you might like. You might not even watch it. If you watch it, you might not like it, but it is our best guess. And that is basically how OkCupid okay, works, but with human beings. Um, and at the time, and, and all dating sites to some degree are like this, and at the time, this is, you know, again, 2003, we, we looked at the landscape uh, and, and didn't really like what we saw in terms of how sites were recommending people to one another. On the one extreme you had, um, this kind of naive system of, of th that I think came from this sort of age sex location ethos of chat rooms in the 90s, where it's like, you know, you guys are both 27, you're a man, she's a woman, you both live in Philly, it's a match. And, and so, and we felt like that was a little simple. And then at the other extreme, you had uh, eHarmony, who was much bigger than this, this, this mode, I think for obvious reasons, has, has fallen out of fashion of late. But, um, their, their idea was you answer this, this very long questionnaire, um, and they've decided sort of a priori what your answers, what, what good answers and what bad answers look like to their questionnaire and what, what, what is important in a relationship and what isn't. Um, so, you know, most famously, if, if you were looking for a same-sex relationship, you know, they would basically disqualify you from using eHarmony. But there was all kinds of other stuff. You know, they, they decided that both wanting kids was important and that, you know, drinking was bad or any of this other stuff. And like, yeah, that might be true for some people, but, but it was a system where if you didn't fit, whoever had thought of the survey and, and put these weights to these questions and then decided what the correct answers were, if you didn't fit that person's idea of what an online dater should be, you were basically out of luck. And so, but we liked the fact that they were asking questions. We knew we wanted to do that, and we wanted to merge it with the sort of openness of this other thing where there was basically no guidance at all. So we basically generalized the eHarmony system. So what, what we did, and this is kind of the, the the creation of the system is why we created OkCupid in the first place, basically. So we, we said, well, let, let's take these questions, but instead of deciding what the right answer is, let's kind of simulate what an, an arbitrary person having a conversation, what, how their mind works. So you know, you ask somebody a question, and they give you an answer, and you weigh that answer against how you wanted them to answer. So we let you specify how you wanted the other person to answer, and then you decide how important this whole thing is, and this question is in the first place. So if you're very religious, then yeah, religion is important to you, and, and you, you can express that in OkCupid. Okay and if religion is not important to you, you can express that too and basically throw out all the religion questions that we ask you. Um, and, and then we added one extra layer of generalization where, uh, you know, we could have set up a, a questionnaire in advance, but w instead we allowed users to submit their own questions. Um, <laughs>